This is another YouTuber's chateau. Ah, there's not lots of cars here, is there? Oh, there's a couple over there, look. <laughs> but it's perfect because it, that will fit in the Jeep because it doesn't take up a lot of space. I can get four or five people around that yeah. chair, oh, so it's, it's perfect for us. We've got one in the other Jeep, very similar. Yeah. But yes, yeah, Sam, it's given us an excuse to come over and have a nosy at your <laughs> chateau. Welcome. <laughs> going on now hey we've got an audience again let's come and say hello again shall we hey it's exciting things happening isn't there On the palace still. Oops. Now this is the post office. Looks like a castle. <laughs> Always makes me smile that. to a vide maison and this is another youtuber's chateau ah, there's not lots of cars here is there oh there's a couple over there look it's a lovely building isn't it Did you say it was 1.9? Yeah, I think it's about one two meters. By oh, right, okay, it's not as tall as I thought. Okay, we'll have a little think. Because when I done it, he didn't do many portraits. Guys, it's a door van Hayden, landscape artist. Oh, yeah, we're going to have that one. That was 60, wasn't that? 60, yes. Yeah. Uh, that's like, that's some, same shift something. Yeah. It's quite, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's quite a big one. They're normally small. And it's just going to be a bit of paper. Well done. Well done. It is, it's hot. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit weird. Oh, I'm freezing. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
When you're actually getting started in here, is this January. what I'm waiting to see on your vlog? January. January. Oh. Well, as well, we still might start the bath. Yeah. That'll be staircase. Yeah. Uh, traditional pub. Oh, yeah. 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 We've got several bars. We've just we've got a little cocktail bar under the stairs, and then we've got what used to be the boiler house. We took that, the big old fold boiler out, and then we made that into the summer bar outside. Now Tony wants to move into the big bar and have a cinema room with another bar. So well, there is a bit of a theme, and we live across the road from the bar that we ran with our friends, the restaurant bar. <laughs> so there's, we've never lived far from a pub, have we? No. <laughs> Oh, it's so annoying. Uh, we're we're yeah, quite lucky. We've got a few. <coughs> is there well water? Uh, is that what you're... Yeah. Is that what the pump is for? Oh. <laughs> this is where it goes down to the cellar, is it? Where you're going to have your bar? You'll need a lift with that. Oh. Yeah, that goes down to a bar. There's a cellar down there, but you'll, oh, need, oh. you'll need a torch. Yeah, so I've got, I don't think I'll risk that, Tone. It's a bit dangerous. Uh. Ah. Rather than them actually plumbing it in. Yeah, brilliant. Wow. Well. That's when I was trying to work out where the fox was. Yes. I still don't know, I still don't know where it is. Right. Uh, that's all going to be tied up there. That's just going to be our storage. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's a huge amount of space, isn't it? Was all oh, this yeah. wine left there? Yes, yeah, this. Or have you brought this? Left here. Yeah. So there, it was left. Do you like red wine? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, interesting, isn't it? Nice, this, yes, yeah. Yeah. I think you might need a handrail. <laughs> One day. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Exciting, though. Interesting. Well, this is the old stone sink, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, but it's still, you could put it out in the garden or something. It's more for decoration, it's more for a historical thing, isn't it? Oh, I don't know about whether it's worth this. Oh, it's just nice that. to have some of the original things, isn't well, it? Well, I'm going to restore that. Go that on. is amazing. Is that a lion on there? Gap, gap, is that? Cap? Yeah, something like gap, cap. And this is the lovely little old stove, isn't it? I do love that. Well, that one, that's worth restoring because you can actually, it will keep you warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's brilliant. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> Mind you, so have we, but we've, yeah, we've got a bit of a head start on you. Well, that's why we've got the caravan for me. Are you in there for Christmas? Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, it's getting pretty nippy now, isn't it? Oh, we should. No, not We'll put it in your car. We have a little like, gate leg top table or a little fold up. Yeah, it's just here. I thought I saw one somewhere. So, yeah, it's happening. Oh, it's through here. Ah, I knew I'd seen one somewhere. I've got another. How much is it? That one there? 40 euro. Yeah, that's We're looking for one for the, Sorry, just mate. for the jeet, no, and it's it handy just, to. Oh. And, and then have a look. If you want to sand down on the top, you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are tidy, aren't they? Yeah. What do you think? Legs all right, aren't I? Yeah. The only thing that's missing off of it. Is it all working? <laughs> yeah, when you the things come out, yeah. one's got a little handle on it to pull it out, and the handle's missing the other side, so you just got to pull the wood out. But I'll, I'll show you. Oh, Where's okay. taking it outside? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little gate leg too. Oh, I think Maybe. so. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> too late. I didn't, I didn't even see it. Too late. I didn't even see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll do, no wouldn't it? Room, it? Yeah. Brilliant. You can give it a bit of a sand down and oh, yeah, yeah, great. 
Great for our yeah, Jeep. Yeah. And being original, <laughs> I think it's about 1950. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's about 1950s. It's a yeah. solid bit of kit. Oh, I love this floor. Unless you want to use it. Well, I think we've seen everything. I'll talk to you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'll, I'll stand this side of well, the obviously, camera. we came to buy some things <laughs> because we saw it on your channel. So, uh, yeah, we got a lovely iron bed and a little table for the sheet. So, I actually thought that table was really sweet. That is yeah. lovely. But what's nice yeah. about it, it's totally original. Yeah. It has been played. Yeah. It might be early, it could be 1930s, but it's solid wood. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, it is solid. Yeah. But it's perfect because that will fit in the Jeep because it doesn't take up a lot of space. I can get four or five people around that yeah. chair, oh, so it's, it's perfect for us. We've got one in the other Jeep, very similar. Yeah. But yes, yeah, Sam, it's given us an excuse to come over and have a nosy at your <laughs> chateau. Welcome. Up running. Summer's out. All right. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get together. Yeah. Oh. Hang on, Tony's trying to drive down to collect things. The ground's a bit more because uh, Tony come down here in his bag, not my Tony, the other Tony. That's a bit confusing know, with all these Tonys, isn't it? And uh, yeah, he managed to get himself stuck in the mud, so we sort of made sure that we didn't get anyone else stuck. Yeah. Today. That's it. Ah. But yeah, it's a lovely setting. I love it. Just, we've done. So we 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 wanted to be in the town for the convenience of being able to go out for a meal and have a drink and just wander home. Yeah. But we've got it's quite nice out the back because we've got the chateau grounds opposite the river. So we go out the back and we get that sort of country. Yeah. But I was saying to Rachel, when because we rented first, the kids then started going to school. We started establishing our business. So therefore, when we started house hunting, we were coming across some nice places, but they were too far. Yeah. So then we had to sort of make it, and this was pretty much what we wanted. Um, but I just still am a bit, I don't like that main road, but you can't have everything. I sort of sit there and think. I think you'll probably just get used to it, yeah, won't you? I mean, we have actually got lorries going past our yeah, front of our building. Off. It's just a normal thing in France, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, but I suppose you know what we've got everything here, and we still, even when we're at the caravans and we come down, we can't believe it's ours. I sit yeah, and I think I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I just, you know, well, it's not something you can sort of aspire to in the UK, yeah. is no, it? No, you can't. No, I mean. Uh, we did have a lovely place in the UK, which is what we sold to be able to come here and but then we wouldn't have had the retirement money. Yeah. So And the quality of life yeah. said it's much better here. I mean we just found London a rat run in the end. Yeah. Well we weren't in London, we were in Essex in Leon C in Essex. Well we were in Rockford, yeah. which are classes. But it, equally so if Tony had to go and work in London, he had to get up at four o'clock in the morning to, to beat the traffic. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. It's on Leon C. Yeah. Our other couple that we've we made friends with. Yeah, she's um, Mark and Tiff. Your, uh, They're in Hockley. Ah, yeah, we've um, got friends. Actually, we're going back to the UK next week, so we'll be staying in Hockley. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, we've yeah. got a holiday home here. They've had it here for 17 years. When they're back over, I'd love you to meet them because they are, they're so lovely. And I just think the Essex lot, we're a different clan, aren't we? I think we're quite out yeah. and chatty. Tony's originally from Clacton. Ah, right. I've <laughs> spent many happy times on Clacton Pier when we were kids. I used to, I always did stay down there in the caravan for our holidays. Yeah, I used to love Clacton. And the kids are totally different over here, aren't they? You don't see, even the teenagers are polite. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> they say bonjour, aren't you? Like, oh. I, know. I can't remember the name. Well, no. The cockle shed. That's it, yeah. yeah. We'll be there next week. Oh.
We'll be at the Billet, which is the pub on the uh, on the seafront there, and that's right next to Osborne's the cockle sheds. Yeah, we can uh, them and then go and get some chips, sit there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what? oh well, we'll have to keep in touch. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. It's all a bit busy at the moment with Christmas. Oh, no. I only ever did it for family to start That's with, and it all just said. went a bit weird. We said that we did. It I never for... did it to get advertising no. and all this, and we just started it for well, pretty much Tony's family, and well, then the kids actually. want uh, their friends yeah. to see what they're doing, and then it's just evolved from there. But. I sort of said, I think we're Are quite boring, really. I don't know why people would want to watch it. <laughs> I bet it's, it's people all over the world watch it. It's, it's quite strange, isn't it? It's a bit... Oh, Rachel, that's too kind. Don't no, do that. No, no, no. He's been as good as gold. He's looked after my dogs and he's given me a... Oh. <laughs> well, that was a nice little visit, wasn't it? Yeah. Ah. We're going at the secret entrance, look. Uh, I know, I know. There are gates like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they're rather nice, aren't they? Yes. It's quite private, isn't it, from the front? Yeah. <laughs> Bye! <That's true. laughs> I just made a pair of gates like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tony's just unhitching his trailer with his tools in it. Excellent. I've got to come around that way then. Hello! <laughs> really pretty day today. The sun is lovely and it's on you. Ah, he's left the gates open for you. There you go. That's good. And John's here, his motor's here. Oh, <laughs> where do we think John will be then? In the round in the kitchen. Oh Is he there? Oh. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> we're interrupting. Have you? Hi John. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have a fire in here. Oh, ooh. fire sounds good. <laughs> we have fire, wow. Ah. Yes, John's here working in the kitchen. Uh, Tony's just taking him away to go and sort out some power over where the menages and find out what's wrong over there. Ah. So, me and B are staying in here in the warm with the big fire. Wow. Yes. Yes. And there was obviously staircase. That staircase is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we've got one as well. You've got a spiral one, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. I had a, I had a Myself and Beatrix are just having a laugh because we just noticed that there's a a plug socket in the ceiling. That's not something you see every day. Um, there is a reason for that though. This area of Deb's new kitchen is going to be a big island with a cooker hood over the top of it. Uh, obviously, all the cabinets have been pulled out again from the wall while John's doing some electrics. But it's getting closer. Look, I can even spy a dishwasher. Yeah, it won't be too long before Deb's got a new kitchen. Yep. Yeah. First, let's get this out. Darn it. Right, I'm just going to go and see what Tony's up to. Hello. 
Hello, gorgeous. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Come say hello then. <laughs> you are beautiful, aren't you? Isn't it a lovely day? This is the older one with the coat on. <laughs> yeah, I want to go and see how Tony's doing now. <laughs> Let's see how it's getting on. Hmm. See you in a bit. Got a lovely big paddock here, haven't they? Anyway, let's go see where Sunny is. This forest over here on the left, that's all part of the estate grounds. You can see how far back it goes there. Right up to the back of where the paddock is. It's huge. They've got some other bits of land dotted about as well. Surrounded by farmland. Uh, this is where we, we did a little bit of metal detecting over there and found a silver shoe buckle and a few other bits. Half a cannonball because there are some ruins over there. Anyway, let's see. Tony's in this bit down the bottom here, which is where the menage is and the hay barn. Oh, I think he's inside. There's a um. There's a walnut orchard through the back there as well, between us and the main chateau building. That building you can see over there is the back of the, uh, what they call the party room, which is the old, there are some old stables in there. And there is a huge party room. And um, there are other stables over the other side of the big courtyard. Right. This is where Adam keeps a lot of his tractor equipment because they do actually still grow their own hay. As I say, they've got a few other pieces of land dotted around. They grow their own hay for the horses. Ah, don't you sit yourself up in here, look. Oh, and there seems to be... Yeah. A lot of bales have arrived, Tone. Sorry? A lot of bales that weren't here yesterday. <laughs> oh, okay. and there's uh, tractor marks in here as well, where they've obviously moved it. So, what is your plan then, Tom? What are you actually making? Uh, I'm making a couple of stable doors. Yeah. All out of steel, or? Yep. And then the, there's stable air horses over there. Yeah. The which is over there and what was the hay barn so which is why this has been moved in here um they have got other stables but it, why what's the reason for him using this instead of the other stables so, so they can move around and they're not cooped up for two or three months yeah it's better for them yeah so they have, have more space in that barn together obviously they can be exercised in here if the weather gets bad and they're close to their top paddock. There is another paddock down the bottom, but it gets very, very muddy. Um, I think it's just easier for William to have them up this end. Oh, oh wow. Tony's right just pointing out some little, yeah, some little footprints. Well, not so little, are they? They look about bigger than a cat, aren't they? Yeah, about big pine martin. What is that? There's a little, look, <laughs> there's lots of footprints. There's like little birdie footprints down there. Yeah. Yeah, because this isn't entirely enclosed in here. There's a mesh shop there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, lots of little footprints in here. I should imagine there's tons of wildlife around here. As I was saying, they can be exercised in here in the winter. This is brilliant. 
Oh, I've got, uh, John's got the lights working now. John's in the kitchen doing some electric. So yeah, cut your head. Oh, oh, duck. Wow. <laughs> William's just come back. Do you need some help with any of that? No, no. This small pieces of steel will turn what tennis you still lugging around, but yeah. You haven't done it for a while. Not big pieces. Right, I'm coming out the way. It's a bit like that film, the plank. You know the old black and white well it wasn't black and white, was it? It was a silent movie. It's a British thing. <laughs> I'm still standing out at the side of the menage and that through there is the walnut orchard. It covers quite a large area and then it goes off into another smaller bit of forest over there. Yeah. Oh, these are the hinges that you bought. Take your meal, go to the This is a little bit bigger than your normal workshop, Tone. Yeah. Exactly. How big do you think this is? Wow, two and a half thousand square meters. Thing there for what is that machinery there, Will? One. That red thing. The red thing is... It's what? It's like a milling machine. Oh. Like Was it just here when you came? Yeah. Ah, right. So it's not something you use. No. Fonderies. Mm. Well, that's interesting. What could you use that for? <laughs> well, put it in the back of the trailer. Oh, I'll, I'll get told off, won't I, to bring all this junk home? I'm sure Tony could make it into something interesting, though. I could have it as a garden ornament. Is that part of your haymaking equipment, that thing? No. Oh, you've inherited that one as well? Yeah. But you've never used it. <laughs> yeah. What, are you going to take it in the tractor? It's an interesting thing though. Not that it's any use. But yeah, what's it got on there? Paris something. That's for the poo. Bird poo. Oh, I love it here. This tractor gets used for all sorts. Last time we saw this, Tony was on it the roof on the sheet out the back here. It's so useful. Yeah, where are they going to put that?
<laughs> Can we have a demonstration again? <laughs> what the young one? It keeps escaping. Oh my word! No, no but through the middle. Yeah, but where's the bards going? He's a bit of an escapologist. <laughs> but obviously, the heavier you make it, the lift open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it being too heavy is actually going to matter too much with this piece of equipment. Could you make something out of that? Like what? Some garden on the moon. Um, probably. Do you want it? I think it's rather nice. Oh! I think we have a taker. wheels. Is it just going to roll it out? Oh, the wheels are not turning. Ah, yes they are now. Ah, I think there was a, a big log or something chocking the wheels. Wow, like a big seesaw. Ooh. While I'm standing here, I just noticed something very Christmassy. I know it's just the sun, but how beautiful is that? It's a silver birch. That is absolutely beautiful. Very Christmassy. Anyway, back to the job in hand. Ah, yeah, he's given himself a bit more room to pull it out of the barn, I think. Oh, yeah. Guys, oh, <laughs> oh, let's try and turn it again. Yeah, it's got mind of its own, this thing. I just want to grab the end for them and pull it round. But I think it's quite heavy and I'll only hurt myself. I'll end up slipping over in, the, in this mud on my bottom. <laughs> it's good to watch though. Ah.
going to be pretty heavy, aren't they, these gates? Oh, yes. But then it's a big hanger, isn't it? Yeah. We also left some more steel tube this time. Big bales up, and their philosophy is once they've eaten through the bales, it's springtime, and then they just go out. <laughs> is that your plan, yeah, then? There's no fence in there. So are you going to leave all this in with them? Yep. Right. Well, we've got to go through it and cut well, all the strings. You've got to what, sorry? Cut all the strings. Cut all the strings, yeah. And then there'll be a pile of straw at the back. Well, that helps keep them warm, though, won't yeah. it? Well, then, we'll come in here every day and just chuck a bow down. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. It's like horsey heaven. <laughs> yeah, we can do something. I haven't, thought, well, I haven't thought of that. I haven't thought of the. I thought of the. I haven't thought of the Great Escape of the Ox. The Great Escape. <laughs> <laughs> Even. I don't, I don't know. They don't dig a tunnel, will they? Yeah, you build, build a, a well up yeah. and across a bit. Just, just to stop it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll learn them, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, far corner. Far corner. Uh, where these blue clamps are. No, no, that corner. corner. Okay. Sorry, just making my way around all the tools. This corner. Yes. Spot on the corner. Yes. In the middle. Outside corner. Outside corner. In the middle. Of the Don't pull it. Outside corner. In the right in the middle. Yeah. Ah, oh, I can't. Hang on. Yes. Yes. Okay. Four meters, five hundred and eighty-five. This weld is there in the corner, isn't it? I have no idea. I can't see a weld. Yes. Four meters, five hundred and eighty dead. Four meters, five hundred. I think I'll buy that. Thank you. Right on the corner. Right. Then, I, then I held it in the middle of that bit. Yes. There. Right exactly there. where I held it yeah. on the opposite corner. Well, that's good. Okay. This is that. There you are. Now they both measure exactly the same. It's completely squared it up. Weld it quick, Tone. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's some snow forecast for the weekend. We don't get much snow here, but occasionally we do get a sprinkle of it. Yeah. Usually not till about February time, but... So, yeah, it's quite important that Tony gets this done. The guys have cleared everything out of here, apart from these bales. They've got to take the string off of all that. Um... Yeah, they're going to love that in there. Anyway, he seems to think he'll probably finish making the gates today. Maybe have to put them up tomorrow. It depends how quick it gets dark. Well, I'm going to go up and see how John's getting on with the electrics up in the kitchen at the chateau. Hey, we've got an audience again. Let's come and say hello again, shall we? Hey, it's exciting things happening, isn't there? So this is the old stable building, that's big inside there as well, I have filmed in there before but it's a bit more enclosed space and the stables are too small really for the horses to be together. Can you hear that? Exactly. There's nothing to hear. So peaceful here. I'm going to hear the birds. Don't know what this plant is, but it's beautiful. It's like spring blossoms in December. Yeah, look, and there's a lot more to come. And there's still beautiful roses as well. It's toasty 
Are you actually building the kitchen? I suppose you've got to, haven't you, to, to fix well, stuff. Is it all integrated um, appliances? Yeah, it's all ah. integrated. It's all got... Yeah, some gates he's making down there. Yeah, they are. But then it's a big hangar, isn't it, down there? It's yeah, huge. 8.83 8, 8 metres. 8.83? Yeah, he's making a pair. They're going to be pretty heavy. And then, then we've had all the discussions of about making sure that the gaps aren't too big because they've got one that likes to escape. It's a horse racing stable I did some work for. And they, were, they had um, up and down switches for the, the roller blinds on their stables. Yeah. And the horses... Were they learned how to operate it. Operate them. <sighs> so they, they just built wood so they couldn't get into oh, it. I've but seen horses that learn to undo like the latches on the so stable yeah. gates and things. So wow. Yeah. You don't think about it. well, obviously I don't have horses, so I don't think about these things, but I suppose like dogs as well. <laughs> they could be quite devious, can't they? <laughs> uh, ah. Oh dear. Cold? Mm, I'm falling out a bit now. <laughs> My hands are warming up a little bit, but yeah, it was getting a little bit nippy. Well, yeah, yeah, it is actually. Oh, I've come through the other way now to the walnut orchard. I'm going to check on how Tony's doing. I just spotted something. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's purple. That's really weird. It's hiding under that leaf there. Look at that. It's a little purple mushroom. Oh, it might be what they call a bluet. Obviously, I'm not great at identifying things, but. Yeah, look. I will make sure I wash my hands. Wow, look at that. Pretty colour. I'm not going to eat it because I don't know what it is. Do you want to come on a little walk with me through the woods? Let's take it slightly because there's not much of a pathway here. That's a pretty tree, that one. These are these are mostly the walnut trees here, but it does go further over there into the woodland. There's another area down here, an exercise area for the horses. Ooh, whoops. Gotta watch where I'm going. Look at this huge area down here. big arena and the woodland carries on over that way
You can see up there through those gates, there's the main chateau through there. I said we were in the walnut orchard. Oh, actually, look, that's even sprouting, that one. Not that they need any more walnut trees. Look at that, it's growing. Mind you, I think, I think Patrick would tell you they quite easily sprout themselves because Patrick's got a few that he needs to dig out because they tend to sprout themselves too near the house. But look at that one, it's growing. Anyway, I'll put it back down. Is that gate number two? It is. Wow, you have done well. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you've done the crossbars as well. Yeah. Is that nearly finished? Yeah, I've finished part the hinges. So do you think you might be able to get it on tonight for him to get the horses in? Well, maybe, if we stay late. Well, I don't mind, it's up to you, Tony. Gates are opening outwards, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even William didn't know. <laughs> yeah. He's nearly finished. You might get him on tonight if we carry on, yeah? I'm trying to convince him anyway. If they get on, they'll come in tonight. That's what I'm hoping, yeah. He's just putting the hinges on and then obviously it's got to be... He said he's still got to make a latch. But yeah, if you can get it finished, then... These gates are not going to be pretty gates, but they're serving a purpose, aren't they? <laughs> you can turn his face. They're not quite as pretty as the last set of gates that you worked on, Tony. They weren't for horses, though, they? they weren't for horses, no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one end of it maybe. Well, it's almost getting dark now. Tony's nearly finished. He's doing his best to try and get it finished so that horses can come in tonight. Um, I've done a lot of miles today, backwards and forwards. I'm back up in the main courtyard in the of the chateau because I've come back up to charge my phone up a bit. <laughs> and now I'm on my way back down again. It's a long way. I've been up and down several times today, and so has everybody else. Well, let's go and see how they're getting on. I think he's nearly ready to fit these gates. Hmm, let's go this way. <laughs> Kicking about in the leaves. I love it. Oh, I wonder what I could hear. I can hear the tractor. Perhaps they're doing it without me. No, quick. Hurry up, hurry up. I just filled up the water trough. <sighs> oh, I can still hear Tony grinding something. I think I'm okay. Much longer now. 
You don't know what's coming, do you? You're going to be so excited. Yeah. Obviously, the, uh, the weather has been fairly mild here. We've had... Yeah, it's getting a bit chillier. We say it's chilly. Um, but obviously, they've been watching the weather forecast uh, to see how cold it is. And it got to the point where... We all asked Tony last week if he could help him do these gates so that he could get them in rather than put them in the other stables because they have much more room in here and they can all stay together. So, yeah, so the weather forecast is possibly snow at the weekend, so this is this is why it's now become quite urgent to get this done. Not that they couldn't go in the other stables, but it's job done then. And they're going to enjoy this much better. It's nearly finished. Oh, I see what Tony's done. So you've cut it into like a channel. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. so you didn't explain that because me and William couldn't work out how that was going to fit. No. <laughs> right. Is it ready to go? Yeah. Oh, exciting. Sorry, I'm not helping, just standing here filming. <laughs> I'll only drop it anyway. I'm only a useful helper when I'm the only helper that's available, you see. <laughs> I'm not good at this stuff. Ooh. Right, hinges are going on this one now, the second gate. Going on now. think they're going to start fitting them. Oh isn't that beautiful? We're still outside the menage and the gates are just about to be hung in the dark with the help of the tractor lights but look at that moon it's just through the trees there. Yeah it's just got dark. Anyway, let's go and see what these boys are up to. We're nearly there. Wow. It's like a Christmas tractor. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Just to say, we're going to shoot off. Yeah, this is going to be like a giant bouncy castle for GGs. <laughs> right, now time's got to weld the hinges onto the metal beam here. On this little bit here. Tony's grinding the paint off of the metal uprights here that he's going to weld the hinges on. Ah. Yeah, that must weigh a ton. Um, now, the idea is to prop it up so that Tony can get it level so that he can work out where to put the other hinge and the other hinge is going to go on upside down and be welded so that the horses cannot lift the gate, just in case. Right. right I'm filming this from the car. I've had to run back up, get the car. My phone just shut down, it said it had still 12%, but it, yeah, it's just shut down and said it was out of battery, so it's charging at the moment, and I really didn't want to miss the last bit. They're in the process of getting the second gate hinges welded on. Yeah, and hopefully I can show you the horses going in shortly. A little bit of final adjustment before Tony welds the last hinges on. Yeah, just in case you can't hear, because I had the car engine on, 
I've switched it off now, so I'm, for, oh, for your benefit, I'm now getting really cold, sitting in the cold window <laughs> open, although there's probably not a patch on what they are, because it is getting chilly. Those horses are going to be glad of this. Right. Is it the big clear up? Yes. Hey. Hey, voila. As they say in these parts. Right. It's not, it's not super light. Obviously, it's very dark. Um, Adam and Will have gone into the paddock there. Oh, the horse is right there. Look, he's wondering what's going on. Can't really see very well, but we will do in a moment. And they take them inside. <laughs> they look like a pair of horse rustlers <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> oh. There we go, here they come. Can't see them in the dark, can you? They're so black. <laughs> wow, where are you going? What's this? Oh, they're huge, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they weren't sure about walking on the straw, were they? Oh, look! What's this, guys? <laughs> God, it's knee high, look! <laughs> They'll soon sort that out. Yeah, they'll flatten all that out soon. What's that? They look a bit bemused, don't they? <laughs> Are you just going to tie that down? I did wonder about that, yeah, just in case. Good. Yeah, that's got to be nicer for you. I've been around animals long enough to know if there's a, if there's, if there's a, a little spot that they can... Um... Right. Nighty night. Nighty night, gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm making shadows. Nice tonight then.